Hi my friends, today we model this part which is uh, called turbine blade and what it has this uh, drawing with these dimensions. You see here is a principal sketch with dimensions uh, necessary to create this uh, coiled feature. We start by creating this uh, contour and the other one at 30 degrees will be placed later. You see dimensions here. This uh, arc and this arc are on the same vertical and they are at the mid axis of this rectangle. Also this 12 is half of 24. This means that this uh, distance has uh, the center right in the center of the uh, rectangle. Rectangle is 28 and this is 14. Take care of these two radii and also this other two. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT sketch in this plane we change the orientation with X to the right and we create a rectangle but not this kind of rectangle rectangle two point center this is the center 16 is the width and uh, 28 is the height this is the place where we draw that uh, arcs I draw a line with the length of uh, 24 and I place this uh, arc this line with its center to the center point <laughs> you see it is not vertical let me make it vertical this is a construction line then I draw a circle with the radius you see the radius you can change here the option the radius up is 1 down is 1.5 then I draw an arc with the ends on the circles the radius here is 50 and I make tangent this arc to that circles another arc starts from the circle and goes to the circle not uh, special positions the radius is 60 tangent also to the arcs then I trim circles to become to become arcs we have a fully constrained sketch finish and this is the basic sketch now 
you can see that uh, keeping the same center which is uh, this not this this is the center at the intersection of uh, this two axis and also the center point this is a center point a cent the center point of uh, the part it is placed here the center point here in the middle here in the middle and this uh, will be used good 30 degrees is the angle we have to start from this and go up with coil tool at 30 degrees we do this coil select profile this is the profile select axis y is the axis but let me go here y is the axis the method is revolution and height the revolution is 30 degrees divided by 36 360 degrees and the height is 60 okay you see we have uh, the blade this is 60 yes and the angle 30 is between the basic and upper uh, profile now we place this rectangle on top the other rectangle is here down let's start with this rectangle the bottom one by using this sketch I make it visible and it will be shared for another sketch you will see that this will go also before the uh, feature coil now we see this yes what to do we do an extrude you see five is the dimension for both rectangles so extrude this but also this the other direction five okay now i can hide you see the sharing yes i can hide anyone for instance this and uh, the other is also hide this is the same if you change here something it will be changed here and vice versa now we use this face for a new sketch i make this with the axis x down and i rotate it to be horizontal then since we know that uh, uh, this axis is uh, oriented at 16 degrees I draw this line then I create a rectangle in three point three points with the one is the center this is the center this is uh, one direction this is another direction this dimension is 16 
and the other is 28, as you know. 28. You can also take this dimension from manage fx parameters which now is placed also here automatically in Inventor Professional 2025. Before this version you should use this way to find it or move it here up. 28 is this one. D1 is 28. So I I write here D1. You see? If somebody changes uh, this uh, uh, rectangle dimensions it has also here modified. I can do this also for this. The dimension is D0 because it was before the other. Good. Finish sketch. Extrude. It doesn't matter that this line is a, a normal line, not a construction, because it doesn't close any contour. Extrude this and also this with the value of 5. Okay. Then I place that uh, fillet, radius 1, up and down. 1 and also 1 here. Okay. Let's see what about the volume. Right click, I properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, and place the new value. There is a small difference. It doesn't matter. You know everything I did here. So you respect this dimension. If you follow my uh, procedure, of course. Material for this part is uh, stainless steel and you can apply shaded instead of uh, having uh, edges. This is what we did, my friends. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.